Amen, amen. Welcome to the wonderful word again. Now, as we do get in our last word for this morning, let us understand, we know that there's some people who's not going to be able to accept the truth and they're going to run away from the truth. And we encourage you to stick around because it's only the truth that can set you free for you to know the people that are around you and what's going on. God tells us to try the spirit by the spirit for a reason, not the flesh by the flesh. If you end up depending on the flesh and getting deceived, terrible things can happen to you. Hallelujah. Right here at Genesis 10 and 2, and then we're going to look at Ezekiel 27 and 13. The sons of Japheth, who we already talked about, is the gate. Joshua already at 626, after he fell Jericho, who raises up this, is cursed. He will lay the foundation in his firstborn and set up the gate with his lastborn. Let us look at the gate, the lastborn. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Mede, Javan, Tubal, Messick, and Tyrus. That's seven at Genesis 10 and 2. Let us look at these three issues that come out of the posterity of Japheth at Ezekiel 27 and 13. Now back in Tyrus a long time ago, this nation was set up perfect by the shore. All the traders used to come there and trade. Let us look at what God says about all the people that was coming through there trading. Look what he particularly phoned in on. Javan, Tubal, and Messick that we know come out of the issue of Japheth, who was our European brother, who is the gate. They were the merchants. They traded the persons of men in vessels in the market. So these three out of the issue of Japheth, they traded the persons of men. They were doing slavery. They traded the persons of men and brass in the market. That is wicked. They're in the market trading persons and brass. Let us understand now, this is the word of God who was around way long before we was. Amen. Let us get the spirit to understand what God is telling us. Now, remember, we pointed out seven posterities. Look at three. You got Javan, Tubal, and Messick. They were the merchants that traded the persons of men and vessels in the market. So we know these spirits out here that comes out of this issue of Japheth are no good. They're controlling, they're leading, they're, they're, they're everything but love. They're trading persons in the market. Now, we have a duty. If we're the same color as people and we are reaping the benefits that people that look like us have shed the blood, the innocent blood in this world, we got a duty to separate ourselves from that. Don't sit in it reaping the benefits from it because you're complicit in it when you're doing that. Separate yourself, hallelujah, and come to Jesus. Be different from what these individuals that look like you are doing in shedding of the blood of innocent people. Don't sit back and be complicit in it and reap the benefit from it because you are just as guilty if you do that and you will be held for that. Hallelujah. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus.